Hello, Legal Shield family. Chris Ward coming to you from Denver, Colorado, with another tip on how to leverage your Facebook business page to build your Legal Shield business. And today we're going to talk about uh, R and D, and typically that would mean uh, research and development. But uh, in this case, it's going to be rob and duplicate. And so there's in the world of Facebook, we know that uh, we can post videos, so you can share links. Uh, two videos whenever you uh, fill in a comment on anything so you can put a link in here but Facebook really is uh, kind of selfish they don't want you to leave Facebook so they're reluctant to give much visibility to a link that could lead a prospective Facebook user off of the page so what we want to do is we actually want to share photos or videos so right over here where you would typically upload your photos, we're going to actually upload a video. Now, anybody that's ever done any video production or a business owner that's paid for commercials knows that the cost of production for videos is very expensive. Uh, even a simple video could cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars. And so we're very fortunate to have a company that makes very professional videos and provides them to us at no cost. And so what I want to do is share with show you how to utilize our video. So here's the Get to Know Us video uh, that's on the, the corporate Legal Shield official. So if you go to YouTube, then type in Legal Shield official, and then you'll actually go to the channel. Here you'll see the, the icon. This is how you know you're on the official channel. So then we have this video. Now, there's a share button. This is what you would typically use to share with all your social media sites. And I think the list of social media uh, venues grows by the day but we don't want to share this link what we want to do is go up into the URL bar and you'll see this long address up here let's go ahead and copy and paste the whole address now we're going to take it into a website called convertfiles.com again that's convertfiles.com when you go down here you'll see choose a local file or download it from and then you're going to paste your URL right into that blank then you're going to see YouTube video resolution default. Let's go to highest available. And in the output format, you want to select MP4. So you'll see MPEG4 video file. Select that. Verify over here. Your input file is the same. And then we're going to convert. What we're essentially doing in this is ripping the video off of YouTube. And we're going to save it as an MP4 file in your computer. Now this may take a few minutes, so you have to be uh, patient with the, the conversion. But it really doesn't take any time at all to do. Voila, the file was successfully converted. So you're going to click here to go to the download page. Now here's the tricky part. So please download your converted file. So instead of clicking on this link, we're going to we're going to double click on it and you should see this bar right here and what we're going to do is click a save link as we want to put this on your desktop so you'll see YouTube one that's just the name of it you can name it whatever you want doesn't matter because we're going to change the name in a second anyway so we're going to save to desktop I have this over here close on my pictures And now you've got the, the corporate video on your page. So now we're going to go back into your Facebook business page. And we're going to upload the video. So remember, it was YouTube 1 MP4 file. And now we're uploading into it. So say something about this video. Um, surveys. suggest that two-thirds of Americans have never even heard of legal service plans. Simply put, the majority of citizens 
cannot afford to pick up the phone and call an attorney. Ah, it helps if you can spell attorney. Call an attorney. When the national average is over 250 an hour. Please take a moment and learn about who we are and what we are about. Hashtag Legal Show. So we're going to write in the note. This is the title. So it, we just know you can use the same title, I would, as whatever the title of the video was. So Legal Shield Introduction, Get to Know Us. So I would just copy and paste that title and use it for the title in the video or for our post. So there we've got a good copy at the top, nice attraction, and then video. So the video in and of itself, typically you can choose, you can either upload a thumbnail or you can just utilize one of the, they capture screen throughout the video. So you can use one of those. I don't have a graphic for this, so I'm just going to use the uh, screen capture. Of course, we always choose preferred audience, so we want to make sure we get our 18 to, let's just say 60 locations. We're only in two countries right now, the United States and Canada. We're going to save that. Now, I've already published, I have a video that I'm already, or a post I'm already publishing today, so I'm going to schedule this post for tomorrow. So go in here, and just do noon. And voila, now I've scheduled a post, so that is how you can post, and you get more visibility because now you've posted the video directly into your page. The other thing is what I would recommend, and a lot of associates have started to catch attention, is, is that the live video Facebook is giving a lot of attention to. So make sure that you have really good content. You know, stick within the marketing guidelines, but I highly recommend utilizing this live video whenever you want to make any announcements or do a presentation. Uh, gets a lot of traction there, more so than even posting a video. But yet even posting a video, you'll still get more visibility than if you share a link. So with that, uh, that is how we rob and duplicate in the world of Legal Shield. I hope that this has been of value to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me. Uh, and then uh, please subscribe to our channel as we have a lot of other tricks of the trade in leveraging social media, uh, in particular Facebook, to build your Legal Shield business. With that, this is Chris Ward signing off.